Hello everybody, it's John Pace and today we're going to show you how to make a beautiful intro reel for your YouTube video. In the timeline on the very top we've got the title which is from Final Cut Pro. Uh, next underneath that is an adjustment layer which I got from Color Grading Central and I've thrown a lot on there which uh, fades the image and gives it a little bit of reddish tint which helps tie all the clips together because they're shot under many different lighting conditions with three different cameras the G85, the GH5 and the A7 III so it helps uh, give them a, a similar look next I've thrown on some 35 millimeter film grain and below that we have a number of overlays we have uh, prism bokeh we have uh, light beams, we have dust particles, we have anamorphic flare. This is one of the light beams, which I've used to emulate uh, light uh, shining through the window to the left of the model. It, I don't know if it's really motivated or not because it should be higher, right? But I didn't want to obscure her face. And again, here's some beautiful falling prism bokeh to the left of the model. The point is really to dazzle your audience so it really doesn't matter if all the effects are really motivated by the light hitting the lens of the camera. And next we're going to go into how we go ahead and begin the project with color grading and so on. Let's find a spot here where the model's eyes are actually open for a change. And so we go in the inspector and I'm going to disable the effects and also remove the leaming LUT. And this is what the image looks like straight out of camera. So the first step in all of these videos that I make is to add the Limulet Pro to the footage. It helps uh, make the colors nicer. And then I'll go ahead and adjust the luma, drag the shadows down a little bit, use curves and use the color wheels to correct the color. And the very next step is a secondary color correction using HSL curves or the HSL wheels in this case I guess. You could see I've isolated the face but I didn't use the shape mask so the color correction is affecting other parts of the image but it wasn't that critical to me. Let's also have a look at the HSL on this uh, image here. Yeah, I could have used a shape mask to exclude the uh, vases from the color correction but it wasn't really necessary and then after we do that then we go ahead and try to uh, highlight the subject more in this case the grass was too bright green so I used the Hue saturation curves to reduce saturation, lower the luma, uh, put a little more yellow in the greens because the green figures a lot in a lot of the clips. And in, this, in this shot in the museum for uh, pharmacy, I think it's a pharmacy museum of uh, ancient uh, Vietnamese uh, pharmaceutical medicine or whatever. Um, the wall of the uh, shelves behind her are a little distracting so I created a shape mask and made a vignette which you'll see in just a second and then I went ahead and lowered the luma and dragged down the saturation a little bit in order to focus your attention more on the model's face rather than the background looking at it now I probably could have gone a little bit further here you can see the mask. And this is with and without the mask applied. It's a subtle effect. I, maybe I could have gone a little bit further. And then in this shot, the uh, anamorphic flare was static. Um, I wanted to animate it. So I used the transform tool and keyframing to make the anamorphic flare uh, rise from the bottom of the frame until around a third of the uh, clip, a third from the bottom of the clip. Let me expand it so you can see it better. 
to see the video animation, you just right click on the uh, clip and then uh, choose uh, animate uh, video animation or something like that. And here you can see the transform tool where, and the arrow is pointing to the top, so it means that the animation is moving upward. That's all there is to that. Let me bunch up the clips so we can uh, see them all here. And the very last thing is the uh, title. I just wanted to give it a little bit of flair, a little Hollywood, Hollywood-esque look, so I added um, some light beams to the uh, title. Anyhow, I hope you found this video useful, and if you liked it, uh, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please consider subscribing. See you in the next episode. Bye for now.